What is vasovagal syncope and what does it have to do with your spine? Syncope means a loss of consciousness, it's essentially blacking out or fainting as a result of a lack of blood supply to the brain. You've probably uh, had experiences like this where you've stood up too quickly and you get a little bit dizzy. Well, you almost passed out. You almost had an episode of syncope. There's a lot of different things that can cause syncope. Vasovagal syncope refers to blacking out as a result of a dysfunctional vagus nerve. Vagal, vaso just means blood and, and arteries, but vagal's the key word here. Your brain controls and coordinates every tissue and cell in your body, including your heart. And the way it regulates your blood pressure and your heart rate, one of the ways, 12 pairs of cranial nerves. But the 10th pair are called the vagus nerves. They are the longest and one of the most important pair of cranial nerves because what they do is they go down and help to regulate and control your internal organs without you even thinking about it. They're part of what's called the autonomic nervous system and specifically part of the parasympathetics that calm you down. They lower your blood pressure and lower your heart rate. A pair of nerves, when it exits your skull, and it goes down to places like your heart, it passes in front of the very top bone in your neck, C1 vertebra called the atlas vertebra. You can have a lot of injury to your atlas vertebra over the course of your life. Your atlas vertebra is what controls all of your yes and no motions. So you can imagine if you're in a whiplash injury or a side injury, a sporting injury, or maybe even when you're born and the doctor pulls and tugs on your head, there can be a lot of tissue damage that's done that can leave you with a rotated or twisted atlas bone. And if you notice that atlas is sitting directly in front of the vagus nerve. So is it possible that the atlas rotation or twist can impinge or kink or irritate that vagus nerve, which will then disrupt the communication between our brain and the heart and the blood pressure? There's been cases in chiropractic that we have seen people come in with different issues they are gently corrected, the alignment of their spine and of their C1 vertebra. However, if there is a kink in the neck, irritating or compressing or pushing on that vagus nerve, it's certainly something that we need to look at. So if you know someone that has something like this that gets dizzy spells or they, for goodness sakes, or no, may I suggest a very thorough evaluation of the neck and of the spine.